We're all exposed to a lot of facts and statistics about the pandemic, so we wondered how do we process it all and how do we make decisions that, especially today, often affect other people. News 19's Dave Soley spoke with a couple of university professors about that topic who agree reliable, accurate information is key, but so is asking questions. I think that uh, reality doesn't conform to our attitudes. Rick Kite teaches and studies ethics at Viterbo University. We can have all kinds of differences about like where we think the country should go and what kind of policies adopt or anything else, but the pandemic is just squashing everything. So reliable, accurate information should guide the decisions we make. But because there's more information available now than at any other time in history, Kite says it's easy to find information to support our attitudes or biases. And that's problematic because we shouldn't be doing that. It turns out that people process information you know, through two different systems in their heads. David Reif agrees with Kite. Reif studies and teaches communication and journalism at the University of Iowa. And one of those systems he's talking about is a rational system. The other is more connected to social identity, the process about which Rick Kite expressed concern, and the way Reif says we tend to process information. But right now, decisions are better reached using the rational approach based on reason and logic. And unfortunately, in the United States today, um, as we're seeing, even when people around you are getting sick and you can see um, that the uh, scientific information is accurate, there's still a percentage of people who will still use their social identity system to process information. So Kite has a suggestion. We should stay humble, reconsider what we think, and ask questions. I think it's the first obligation of everybody in a, a democratic society is to say, before I form any opinion about anything, let me ask some questions. That will help ensure that attitudes conform to reality. In La Crosse, Dave Soley, WXOW News 19. And coming up at six, you'll hear from Rick Kite and David Reif about the media role in this process.